Hi, Cappy. Welcome to your mid-January greeting. I don't know. I feel I feel lightheaded. Um, some of you could have been sick, or you're recovering from sickness, and it could be a bit lightheaded. Um, I'm not sure if others um like kind of started to do new things or the energies are just simply that strong that you could feel a bit weird i feel a bit strange uh in your energy Cappy. i feel lightheaded and i feel like um a bit like the forgetting uh things uh here easily and you could be a bit um disorganized like you could start many things uh to do and then taking a bit longer to finish them all because you will finish them you will not uh let things undone um but i feel like um a bit of you know unorganized uh energy here but let's see mid january messages for capricorns also this could be for some of you the effect of you know some substances if you smoke something or you drink or you know so yeah now thinking because um it's been a while since i last time been tipsy or hangover or something but for some it could be this but just simply not if the, the energies are strong all right let's see capricorn let's start take a leonard therma oracle card okay you got number 30 uh is this um what's the name of this flower can't remember but it's beautiful it has like musical notes and at the bottom of the deck you have these birds so maybe some of you are waiting for spring like nothing i'm also feeling like some news really good news um here if you haven't got good news you're gonna get new news um it gives me harmony this this card gives me strong harmony here and like angelic energy all right let's take the meaning of the card number 30 maybe the day 30 or the um date 30 can be of significance lily lily grows tall while music swirls around them lilies are royal flowers and are associated with devotion and longevity in relationships Keywords, passion, romance, peace, forgiveness, maturity, age, grandfather, grandmother, discreet, antiquity, old. Energy, neutral, is a maybe. Playing card, king of spades. Traditional meaning in includes an ambitious and successful man, advances in work, stubborn, unforgiving personality, getting fired. Okay, this gave me more like peaceful vibes, so... Yeah, maybe for some of you, this peaceful vibe comes with maybe not connecting with uh, many people or, um, you know, taking some time for yourself and uh, spending alone time. Maybe some of you are not that sociable. But let's take some tarot. Let's see what's coming from tarot here. Maturity, also this sensation of maybe being a bit lightheaded is because some of you are really transitioning, you know, into more mature state, like starting a new job or, you know, graduating. For some of you, I see like when you rest, when you rest, you, like maybe when you don't talk to others, when you, when you spend time alone, you feel very good. And also resting could make you feel very good, like charging your batteries. Um, you know, like I said, like maybe some of you have been sick. I also see like here, some of you are thinking like, hey, how can I take better care of me? What is that that I can give to myself? How I can spoil myself um, here? I see health being very significant uh, here for you, Cappy. And also if you haven't been active um maybe i don't know where you're from uh in the world but if it's like cold outside and stuff like that i kind of feel like you don't really want to go uh out if it's cold and dark and all that but i feel like maybe some of you here are considering starting to g you starting going to the gym it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man but i see women's presence can make you feel very good because i feel like it's so nurturing and some of you really need that nurturing soft gentle caring energy here 
this gives me also like soft love not tough love soft love some of you need soft love soft love soft love two of cups ace of swords yeah some of you really need uh, soft love. I also see very good communication with your loved one, with your um, spouse or with your children, with those around you that you love. And I also see like for those who are single, like you could meet someone new, like someone very new. Yeah, you could meet someone new here. And I have a lover is at the bottom of a different deck of cards. It could be for some of you, love is knocking at your door, but if you're already in the relationship and um, you are with someone, I see good communication here with your loved ones, or improving communication. But for those who are singles, I you're going to come out from that singlehood here. Like, you're going to come out from that singlehood. And for some of you, you're going to meet someone that... Um, is going to make you think a little bit. I feel like this energy here... It's gonna make you, you use your mind a bit. It's, it's, I don't feel like this energy is um, familiar to you. You know, I feel like this is an energy that it's um, in its complexity can put you into a lot of thinking. And for some of you, uh, this energy um, is very grounded. You could meet this energy through work, or you could meet this energy through some group activities. And if you're already in a connection, I see your, your connection here getting into a stage of full passion. So it could be that you will have like a month of passion, a month of um, three months, a month to three months where you will have a lot of things to do with your with your partner. And it's going to be a lot of passion. Maybe some of you are traveling here with your with your partner. there you go some of you really are gonna meet here um someone through work you have a three of cups uh at the bottom of the deck as well but you got the eight of um three of pentacles king of cups eight of pentacles and this tells me that um if this is not a romantic interest for some of you this is career wise you're being very much advised to do the things that are also supporting your health uh you're being advised to work in fields where you are not being uh, exhausted uh, emotionally especially here i also feel like for some of you could really do good to do some health checks here you have a pair the king of cups and king of uh, king of cups here so for some of you this does talk about it, but more than that i feel like maybe some of you could run some investigations some health investigations here and also in terms of um career courses uh hobbies and things like that i feel like you can get to to connect with people that on at least emotional stage you you kind of resonate you understand each other you know what you're talking about you have same maturity emotionally wise or you are supporting each other to grow emotionally i also feel like it's very important for you to connect with people that are i either higher or at least at your level. I'm not seeing energies here that will support you as an overall if they are immature. Like even the Oracle card said maturity. So I feel like you need to connect with people um, that have experience, people that have, you know, have been through some stuff here. And they are more than anything emotionally matured, not people that they would laugh when you will say something tragic or, you know, I don't know, you can tell where a person is at on their, you know, developmental stage based on what they laugh at, you know, something that really, honestly, not funny. Some things are stand-up material, but in conversation, you know what I mean? All right, let's see. here could have a, a conflict uh, here uh, with someone could be for money 
I'm not sure for some of you, or this is a colleague at work, or this is like you lend money to someone and now you, you're you struggling to get the money back. I see with this King of Wands and King of Pentacles here with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, that there is not an equal investment in a situation here between, uh, could be two men, two men here. And there is a Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck Empress and Tempress. For some of you, this talks about maybe investments or collaborations or you know a situation in which material is being invested but it's not necessarily reciprocated i also see here that um it could be a disimbalance that could be the lightheaded that i felt when i tapped into your energy the disimbalance between taking action king of wands and looking at the bigger picture capricorn energy king of pentacles you know like thinking before taking action and i feel like this could be why the six of pentacles in reverse because it's a disimbalance maybe you're not sure rather if you should do something or not or more than that how you should proceed and you could feel a bit lightheaded especially if it's like career stuff and finances stuff especially what goes on in the world everywhere um some of you here could be like oh is this even a good investment Some of you think really far away. All right, let's take for you um, here, Cappy, some messages. But I see like uh, you're also surrounded by people and um, you have good people around you, uh, Cappy. And I see also like you have the possibility to meet new people that they have. Maybe that's why we connect with people that have maturity, that have wisdom, that have experience. They are mature to give you some advices. You're not alone in this. And it's really good to ask for help. And if you get from the angel, ask for help and go bananas. All right, cool. Let's take for you some Oracle cards. See, it's very important to have this, this uh, mature people around you right now. Don't stop from the angels and from the shaman. Sacrifice with the bull. take the other half i love to combine this this oracle deck so that you can get messages from everybody at once from the shaman angels animals and soul path any other messages here for capital i'll read to you in a minute hmm uh you got here ask your angels at the bottom of the deck but you got here ancestors and no and for some of you i i got an instant message with this like don't go on your um ancestors path don't re <clears throat> don't repeat history don't say the things that they said don't do the things that they did i feel like it's kind of you breaking um breaking from family generations you got abundance and opportunity you have an opportunity for abundance here and this is like the king of pentacles and king of wands energies that i felt here so that's something that you can evaluate you have a peaceful resolution there is a situation that maybe you can evaluate it again because it could be what if it's not true but this this uh, card talks about the ancestor beliefs no i cannot do things different in my family we all have been like this you know from centuries to centuries like like not giving into changing your circumstances like you know complying with your circumstances well this is what it is i'm not gonna do more this is like what is that what if is that's not true what if you can do whatever you want to do what if there are always opportunities for you to take and change those circumstances you know what i mean cappy most capricorns had a really rough childhood and what if it's not true that you always have to work hard 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 what if you know sometimes you can really have fun and relax and chill do i surround myself with people who lift me up and this is like kind of the overall message uh, here for you, Cappy, for mid-January. Uh, like really surround yourself with people that lift you up and people that support you, support your growth. People that where you can turn to ask for an advice. People that you can also have fun with. People that you can, you know, cry and, you know, be surrounded by people that 
are not just one thing and one thing only, you know, we are a bundle of a lot of things. So surround yourself with authentic people. But yeah, Cappy, this is your general reading. Hopefully it helps and I'll see you on the next one.